welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials i professor mayur as modi today we will discussing with the coach ran boiler if you like the channel subscribe like and share so let us start with with the basic parts of the boilers cylindrical cell it is cell in which different parts of the boilers are enclosed and on which different mountings are fitted generally mountings of the boiler that will be related with the increasing the safety of the boiler great it is platform in the furnace on which fuel is burnt furnace or you can say the fire box it is a chamber formed by the space above the boiler cell in which combustion take place it is also called a fire box this chamber contains hot gases produced by the combustion of the fuel fire hole it is the hole through which coal is added to the furnace for the continuously generating the heat energy s pit or you can say s pan it is a area in which the ash of the burnt coal is collected smoke chamber smoke box the waste gases are collected here and then released to the chimney and then to the atmosphere manhole it is a hole provided on the boiler cell so that a workman can go inside the boiler for the inspection cleaning and maintenance hand holes it is a hole provided on the cell to give easy access for the purpose of cleaning the water tubes or some other internal parts of the boiler they are also fitted with the covers mud box it collects all the impurities present in the water it is at the bottom of the barrel or cell these impurities are removed time to time by help of blow of cock steam collecting pipe or anti priming pipe when the steam leaving the boiler it contains certain amount of water so anti priming pipe is used to separate water particles from the steam and to collect the dry steam from the boiler and which is very important let's see the figure of the coach run boiler so as per the classification of the boiler according to the geometric orientation it will be the vertical tube boiler multi fire tube boiler internal fired and natural circulation kind of boiler construction the boiler consists of a cylindrical cell hemispherical fire box fire tubes and chimney the hemispherical crown of the boiler gives the good strength to withstand against the pressure that's it some of the components we already discussed here you can see that will be your furnace great area so great is providing the platform for burning of the fuel fuel either it may be solid fuel or it may be liquid fuel or gases fire door for entering the continuous fuel for generating the combustion into the boiler s pit to collect the unburned coal or unburned fuel it will be converting now into the s so it will be drawn with the help of s pit smoke box after the generating the hot gases it will be passing through the fire bricks lining and uh, inside of the tubes and heat exchange take place inside of the tube to the surroundings by the water so with the heat exchange water is heated up to a certain limit and it will be producing the high pressurized high temperature steam so with the help of smoke box you had wasted gas it will be collected and it will be towards the chimney man hall for inspection cleaning purpose man is entering into the boiler 
mud and water off during the blow off if some of the maintenance so drain out the, all the water so with the help of blow up cork or you can say the mud and water of during the blowing of the water anti priming pipes so that will be the help to separate out the water particles or you can say moisture from the steam or vapor so only you can considering the pure form of the steam or dry steam it will be out from the steam stop valve to the application here it will be the total nomenclature of the coach rain boiler the hemispherical shape of the furnace can be withstand high heat and it also useful to increase the radiant heat transfer from the furnace to the hemispherical furnace wall the grate is placed at the bottom of the furnace and as pit is collected below of the grate the working of the coach rain boiler the water is supplied to the boiler through the feed check valve and the coal is introduced to the grate through the fire door the hot gas is produced from the furnace enters the combustion chamber and passes through the horizontal fire tubes heat transfer take place from the flue gases to the water surrounded by the tubes with the help of conventional heat exchange the flue gas is coming from the fire tubes enter into the smoke box finally they discharge to the atmosphere through a chimney the ash form is collected into ash pit some of the advantages of the coach rain boiler it is compact and portable boiler therefore minimum floor area is required initial cost of boiler is less it can be moved and set up readily into the different locations quick and easy installations any type of fuel you can use disadvantages of coach rain boiler steam raising capacity is less due to the vertical design because that will be the vertical boiler water along with steam may be entered the steam pipe under the heavy loads due to the small steam space efficiency is poor in smaller size so that will be all regarding to the coach rain boilers if you liked it and you can get some more videos like into the mechanical engineering so subscribe like and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank